Hello, my name is Patricia Elise from the Elise Law Firm. We're an immigration firm located in Miami, Florida, and we are really passionate about helping immigrants and their families navigate through the immigration system in the United States. Today, we're going to be focusing on the top three reasons why a marriage-based green card application may be denied. Now, the first most common reason is if maybe the immigration forms are incomplete. As a lawful permanent resident or U.S. citizen, you do have to file several different kinds of immigration forms with USCIS. If these forms are missing information, are not signed properly or incomplete, you do risk for USCIS to deny the entire petition. The second most common reason that a green card application is denied for a spouse is, for example, if all of the required supporting documents were not submitted to USCIS. When you file your application, there is a list of documents that you have to provide to the USCIS Processing Center. If any documentations are missing, they will for most likely send you an RFE. An RFE is a request for additional evidence where USCIS will tell you in a letter what is missing and when you need to submit to them by. Now, if you don't read this letter very carefully so that you don't provide a full record meaning if you don't provide all of the documents that they find is missing in your file in a timely manner, you do risk having your application being denied. The third most common reason that I see a USCIS officer deny is a marriage-based petition is if you and your spouse are not quite ready for that in-person appointment at the local USCIS office. Now, don't forget, after your application is reviewed by the processing center, USCIS will send your file to a local USCIS office closest to your address on file, where you and your spouse do have to present in person for an interview. Now at our office, we do prepare our clients for this in-person appointment. We'll prepare them either via video or in person. We'll prepare them both together and separately. That way we're sure that both parties are truly ready to answer any questions and provide any additional information required to the USCIS officer at this in-person interview. Now, I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you reach out to our firm if you have any questions about the immigration process or how to file for a green card for your spouse. Again, my name is Patricia Elise from the Elise Law Firm and I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks so much. Have a good one.